Madam Speaker, Mr. Mayor, which I duly hope, knowing him, he's still around, uh, and fellow councillors. It is very much a mission to ensure that we truly look at a balanced scale of economic growth and very much focus on the most poor and hard hit areas in this city for investments for a change. We truly need a new economic focus program that can reform the potential of broadening out the industrial zones, in specific, as Councillor Force said, the current huge need in the Atlantis area in their IDZ zone. I think at this current moment there cannot be an argument that the Atlantis area has not derived any of this major promises and it should be focused on. Madam Speaker, in the past few weeks, I have no doubt visited the inner city and viewed the city with an investor's perspective, having hosted two major overseas delegations in this city myself. No doubt for institutions like Wesgro, the IDP program, and the trade initiatives which this city has, we need to look at the perspective of foreign direct investment in our city. Crime, boots on the ground, and more than that, a necessity of a safe city must become our priority. You cannot have a booming city if you do not apply a zero tolerance on crime and rejuvenate the city with law and order, just like the revival of New York and Maya Giuliani not accepting the degradation of even a cigarette butt being allowed to be thrown in an inner city. Madam Speaker, we must find an urgent solution for the homeless citizens in this city. We understand that humanity will give these people the opportunity of an alternative. But as a German investor said, you want me to spend a hundred million on reviving a building, but we have homeless people in every corner of the city, specifically even now camping next to the city Cape Town Castle. In an inhumane manner, we should find such solution and actually increase that. Madam Speaker, I mute that every person in this council should be an ambassador for investment of the city. Ukuta Imali, Ebatwini, Kubaleku, Kakulu, Nomslanj.